What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and just a quick what's coming Thursday video because I know a lot of you guys are asking me are we getting the new update tomorrow on the 28th? No, we won't be. The new update is going to be coming next Thursday. So that's when it kind of is going to be kicking off. Now we still have the FC Barcelona 125th anniversary. That is still ongoing. So you get your special login present and there's also the voting reward. That is going to be running for another week here, okay? And it actually uh, signals here that you will be able to get this player all the way up until the 5th of the 12th. The 5th of the 12th, if you keep that date in mind, okay? The 5th of the 12th, that seems to tie in with everything that is going to be coming. So you can see the match pass is ending on the 5th of the 12th. You can also see that the eFootball League phase is going to be ending on, e on the, the 12th. You can see that most of the events and most of the player packs, you can see there with the divisions, that's going to end on the 5th. And of course, with the contracts and all that as well, that is going to be ending on the 5th as well. The mission is going to be ending on the 5th. The Black Friday campaign, that is going to be ending on the 5th. So there's another seven days to go in all of these, right? So if you work your way through these Black Friday deals, you will get all the Barcelona and the AC Milan players. You'll also get all these avatars and stuff like that. And you can keep going for them for another week. So if you haven't been playing the game for a while, you can still clear those. And of course, the Barcelona one then as well. That is going to be your Trident players. A lot of people ask me about these Trident players, right? We will do a couple of videos on them. Um, I've just been super busy lately, just prepping for future stuff and a lot of stuff to announce soon. But yeah, 5th to the 12th is going to be the big date. Everything seems to be kicking off at that date there. As I said, with the contract situation as well. So yes, these will rinse and repeat. You've got seven days left in the Barcelona pack. So that's a special longer than normal two week opening that you can have there for msn but beckham and co are going to be gone next monday these are going to be gone tomorrow these are going to be gone tomorrow we'll have new player weeks we'll get to that in a second the league selection is going to be gone the japanese the iraq and the uzbekistan are going to be gone and then all of these are going to be another two weeks here now the trident here a lot of people ask me about this you basically get these players but they're in a pack that yes you can get any of these for free and i know a lot of people have got rivaldo but it's in a chance deal pack with 125 players. So you will be able to work your way through getting a lot of spins there. But you're not going to be able to get like 125 spins. These players are guaranteed. Any of these players are guaranteed here. So you'll get the 4 Milan, 4 Barcelona, right? All of these are going to be gone in 7 days time as well. Again, bringing us up to that magical 5th of December. Now what's going to be coming on the 5th of December? Well, we will talk about that in another video. Because it's too long to get into here. And to be honest with you, I want to go through a lot of stuff. And a lot of like, you know, there's a lot of fake news out there at the moment, man. I'm, I'm just sick of it. I'm sick of people just putting up videos that don't have a clue what they're talking about. Saying Master League is going to be coming this stage. It's going to be coming next week. You know, I, I will do a video on it, man. I'm not going to get into it today, right? But anyway, that is the information on the Trident pack there. It is literally just a chance deal. So you get your, your, your draw there. You could get lucky and you could get a special spin. But more likely than not, you're probably just going to get like a standard card, right? So what is actually going to be coming tomorrow? Well, we'll have new events and we will also have the player of the week as well. So Konami have tweeted out the player of the week here. Looks like we're going to have these three boys, right? Guaranteed. So you've got Madison, you've got Saka and you've got Valverde. And also on top of that then as well, it looks like we will have these three as well. These are just my predictions. Marcus Turam, Harry Kane and Mohamed Salah. Don't know what's going on with Salah, lads, and Liverpool. I don't know what the contract situation is. I mean, it seems to be the only distraction that they have at the moment going on because they're absolutely beasting, top of the Premier League. City looked to be in free fall. I watched them last night where they were 3 nil up and then they drew 3 all. It was crazy, man. It was crazy. But I can't say too much because I'm a United fan. But yeah, it's interesting to see if Salah will come. Toram and Harry Kane have had lots of cards as well. But it will be interesting. But it definitely looks like those are the three players that we are going to be getting based on the silhouettes there and the teasers that they've been given. So they line up perfectly with the renders there that we've mocked up. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Again, it's another Thursday. Now, also, I want to talk about uh, another thing that's going to be happening Thursday. I will actually be streaming UFL on Thursday. So we're going to be doing a bit of a stream on UFL, right? So the game is actually not out until next week. It's also out the 5th to the 12th. So the actual date of UFL is the 5th to the 12th. But you can get a starter pack, which is 15 euro. This is what you get in the starter pack here. If you want to look at it, um, you get like, obviously you get seven day early access. You get 20 million in-game currency. Now I'm kind of interested in UFL. I played the first beta with massive numbers on the stream. We nearly had a thousand people watching our stream. We did a 12, a 10 hour stream in our first stream. Then we played the second beta, which was back in what? June, July, I think it was, or maybe a bit, well, it was a bit later than that, maybe September. 
And I thought that it was very poor. And then they pushed back, obviously, the release date of the game until now, the 5th of December. But you get a 7-day early access tomorrow, the 28th. So I'm thinking I'm going to stream it. We'll see what the crack is with it. We'll be brutally honest, but we will also give it a good go and see what the crack is with the game. So let me know in the comments below if you're interested in that because it doesn't seem to be like there's going to be much going on with eFootball tomorrow apart from that player of the week that I showed you. And uh, yeah, let's see, what, we, let's see what, what happens tomorrow. But we will be streaming tomorrow. I hope to see you guys there. And let me know your thoughts. Peace.